Hello, it's Ross from New Edinburgh. We're going to have a look at the MQI GT Evo. So, this is a 125cc equivalent, um, and by the way, it will compete with any 125cc petrol or electric. The, 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 the acceleration, the power is unbelievable, um, and it's actually the fastest model that we do as well. So, it's got a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Um, so, you know, it's as close as you'll get to, uh, to its petrol equivalent in terms of, in terms of speed. It's, a, it's, an, it's an unbelievable bike. Um, you can get this model in uh, four different colours, all matte, so matte white, matte orange, matte black and matte grey as well. Um, so there's loads of, 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 of new uh, tech on this, on this model as well. So we'll just jump straight into it and what I'm going to do is uh, we'll run through the tech spec with you and we'll just show you some, some, uh, some close-ups of the bike and um, we'll start with the batteries. So the MQI GT Evo is a dual battery model, so both batteries are stored under the seat. The Evo has the brand new fourth generation 70 volt batteries, which can either be charged directly in the bike if you have a garage with a, with a power source. If you don't, you can simply just remove the batteries from the bike, use the splitter and charge both batteries up at the same time. Um, and they just charge off a 13 amp standard household plug. Um, and the charge time is around about five hours to get a full charge. Now, let's take a look at the motor. So the Evo has a, an incredibly powerful five kilowatt motor, giving you instantaneous acceleration and beating any 125cc petrol or electric off the mark. So the Evo has 14 inch wheels and hydraulic disc brakes front and back. Um, and the electronic braking system provides regenerative power that basically puts energy back into the system when braking, extending your range. Um, now let's take a look at the lights. So at the front you have the third generation LED uh, iconic halo light, which has become probably one of the most recognisable features on all new scooters. And at the back you have the full LED wraparound uh, tail light. So let's take a look at the controls. So on the on the right you have your green ignition switch. Just simply press the green button and you're good to go. You also have a kill switch, um, your lighting where you can set automatic lighting, and you can also control your modes of driving as well, which you have eco, dynamic, and sport mode. And on the left you have your indicators, full beam, hazards, and you also have cruise control as well on the Evo. So the smart LED dashboard basically displays everything you need to know at a glance. You've got battery status, riding mode, speed, connectivity, and um, it also tells you how many miles you have left in range in the batteries. Now, let's take a look at some of the cool new functions you can control via the app on the Evo. Um, firstly, you can turn the scooter uh, on and off via the app. Um, but the main new feature is you can change between dashboard styles. So there's three different options and you can switch between them easily um, within the app. Right, let's take a look at the app itself in a bit more detail. Firstly, you'll get notified of any unauthorized movement via the app, which means you can uh, check the scooter's location via the built-in GPS tracker. Um, you can also check past routes, um, battery uh, health, ride statistics, and you can also run uh, diagnostics checks via the app as well. And finally, from a practicality point of view, you have a bag hanger and a USB port for charging your phone. Now, it's worth mentioning you don't actually need the key to start the bike. Uh, just press the red button on the fob and uh, that'll start the scooter up. So that's the that's the specs. Um, there's quite a lot to cover there, but I think I think we I think we went through everything. Um, if you're looking for a a beast of a bike, if you're looking for the speed, the power, um, acceleration, this is the model to go for. It does genuinely compete with any 125cc on the market. Um, range fairly good as well. You're looking at about 45 mile in range, but one thing to mention is. Because you've got the three riding modes, if you stick it in e-save, and e-save tops out at 30 miles an hour, you can use this bike um, 
for just moving about the city, just commuting as well. And obviously that'll extend the range quite dramatically. You're probably looking at more like 60 mile in range sitting in eSafe. Um, but because it's got that top speed of 62 miles per hour, um, you can also run it on, 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 on dual carriageways as well. So it takes a lot of boxes. Um, so yeah, that, 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 that's the MQI GT Evo. Um, come and see us. We're at 74 Dalry Road in Edinburgh, just up from Haymarket train station booking for a test ride so you can actually try this model yourself it is very very unique um and yeah that's the mqi gt evo